Now, this is uh, this uh, this this even up to forty eight hours. What there is difference? There was difference in their behavior. The most ninety percent of them became active and they were jumping up and down. Welcome back to Poultry Farm Guide. I remember my humble self is the one for somewhere. On today's video, I'm going to discuss a crucial topic: how to contain or control disease outbreak in poultry farm. I'm going to share my secret, what I do personally to ensure I reduce mortality and control that disease. We must not always be perfect. Sometimes disease will come. So what are you going to do when such things occur? So that is what I'm going to share with you in this video. The drugs I use, the medications, the steps I took, and all that. So, the first thing is to detect their behavior. Early detection is very important. So, I detected the behavior of the bear. They were dull. They can give you different behavior. They can show different behavior. Their wings will just form a coat and drop down. That is it. And they have a ruffle feathers. Rough feathers and drop down feathers. Their wings will just be touching the ground like this, like a coat. And they will be dull. They will not be eating. They will not be active. They will be losing weight. So we have them um, breathing, okay, and uh, labor breathing. <sighs> no, they are closing the eye. There are so many uh, signs of uh, infection in, in chickens. If they are sick, there are so many signs. In this specific case, in my farm, they have a drop shoulder and the tiny feet. Their leg, the shank, are just tiny. The blood, the door is not bright. Their feet are not bright. Okay, these are the signs that are. You know, have a consistent return costidiosis. And when it comes to costidiosis, we have different types. For the layers, it was misinfection, not just only costidiosis, some um, bacterial infection also affected them. So when I took the layers to the veterinarian, they have to diagnose it and they gave me medication to give to the shaking. Before then, what I did after I so after detection, you have to detect, then isolate the shakings. You have to clean the place, isolate the shakings, make sure the place is warm, not too hot, not too cold. You control the temperature. When the temperature is bad for them, it will get worse. Okay, make sure the place is quite warm and clean. Okay, now this is that what I did first. Okay, I'm just going to show you the these shakings you are seeing. They were very dull last week. They were very dull. They are eating now. So just this one. This one was an accident because they put the feather on the beds. On this particular bed. Okay. But most of these beds were sick. As you can see here, most of the beds here are active. They are, they are all active now. Because they gave them the Kumaro vaccine yesterday. They are all active. I made sure the bed were active before I gave them vaccine. Okay. So this is how, look at the floor here. It was well clean. I have to move the bed out of that place you are seeing now. I have to move them out. And then I took the, measure, the necessary measures to make sure that everywhere uh, we are being controlled very well. So that is what I did first. Isolation. I isolated the beds and I treat them very well. I gave them the right medications okay so after isolation i took the one of the beds to the veterinarian to the vet for diagnosis and he gave me the diagnosis and he gave me medication to give to the beds moreover the brothers are well because it was obvious it was a procediosis and they were also having cough so i have to get cough drugs Paladus extra is the best for me. Okay, when the cough is very serious, you use Paladus extra. Okay, that is the drugs uh, I used. It's quite expensive. So for you to save your bed, you have to use the best drugs in the market. Okay, now, when I came back, I have to take the medications. As soon as I give the medication to the chickens, they all, within one day, 24 hours, it's not even up to 48 hours, what there is difference there was difference in their behavior 
the most ninety percent of the bed became active and they were jumping up and down. So why am I saying all this? It is important you take your chicken to the vet. That is the first step you have to take after isolation, taking the necessary bar security measures, put disinfect the their feeders and all that. Okay, preventing people from entering your farm. After doing all these things that is within your control. Then the next thing is to take one of the dead beds or sick beds to the vets. Mostly they prefer dead beds because they're not going to kill the sick beds. Okay? So you take a dead one to the farm so that they can dissect and diagnose. So knowing what is wrong with your bed will give you the necessary direction to take. So the beds prescribed some drugs from me. I'm going to share the drugs. See, I've given this drug before, but I just want to be against when this kind of infection affected Brola last two years, this medication is very good because it's a good combination. Okay. Now, this is the this uh, uh, this this it's new degen. Sometimes they call it new new gen new gen, but this is new degen. It's a combination of anticocidia and the deoxygen. It's a broad spectrum medication. Very very. Protect. You have some sulfonamide and um, um, ingredient in it. Sulfonamide is very strong when you are taking talking about procedure and uh, antimicrobial drugs. Okay, this one is a um, Ozi tetracycline, Ozi C powder. Very strong as well. Look at it. I'm not advertising. I'll just show you what will help you whenever your beds get sick. Okay, they can ha also have different version of all this. Okay, now this is almost the same thing as uh, or or the full of bites. See, but this one is combination of folic acid and zinc. Okay, folic acid and zinc is also, but the one that contains C vitamin C as well. This one is or the full of bites C containing as well folic acid and zinc. So, this is what I gave my paint within 24 hours, the whole bed. That we are doing like this became active. Okay. Now, when it comes to disinfection, are you disinfection when you are putting food bags before any persons enter your farm? You have to be there and make sure all these things are going away, or else your bed will just go down. So you don't need to panic, you just need to follow these steps. Okay, detect, isolate, take the necessary bath security measures, and go to the vet. Don't do try and error. You want to try, want to try, want to save money. No. 1,000 Naira is what I use to consult if it's finish. It's not more. So just give you the drugs you will give to your bed. Provided you buy it from them. Also, if you don't want to buy it from them, that is your own. But it's good you patronize them after diagnosing your bed. Okay? So this is what I normally do whenever I notice uh, disease outbreak in my farm. Okay? Some of the disinfectants I normally use. You must not, you have the what you call topical spray of disinfectant. There are some disinfectants you don't spray on their feed or drinkers. Okay, there are some you can use, like this one, polydine is uh, iodo 4, iodine complexes. Okay, it is safe for the bed in the right amount. The water you miss it and you use to wash the drinkers and feeders and spray it around. Okay, it cannot affect the bed when they consume it. Okay, in the right amount, the description. The, the dosage amount in water for different usage is there, okay? Then the one you can put on food bag, you can put those on on food bag. I have different disinfectants you can use on food bag. You can also put this on food bag, but I use this for feeders and drinkers, okay? That what I normally do. If you have lime, you put on the in the liter so that it will suppress the growth of those dangerous organisms, okay? So my beds are doing very well. Yesterday we gave them Komarov at they're just two eight two months old. The layers that are two months old. Next week we'll give for small pots, uh power pots, I mean, then next to with typhoid, then we depict them. Okay, this is what you must do. I share my secrets, my tips, my guys, so that I don't want any of you should fall into this problem of disease outbreak. It is good to prevent and all that, but sometimes we cannot always be perfect, cannot always be there. So whenever I notice some of these changes in your bed, you take these necessary measures. 
detects the signs early enough, isolate the beds, take bath security measures, sanitation, communication with other people in your farm so that the movements will be controlled. Don't allow too much crowd in your farm. Put food back at the entry of all pen, at the entry of the farm. Then take the bed to the vet. If you cannot detect the actual cause, bring the medication and give the medication to the beds. Five to seven days consistently. If you wear diluted, okay? I give to the bed, I give money at night. Dilutes, make it more concentrated while putting the drugs, okay? Make it more concentrated. You can put small water. Make them to be tasty, tasty, very well. If you take it to be tasty, so that when you give them this medication, they will all drink it and wash it. We put the same thing in the evening. Again, before you know it, within two days, your bed will be all right. These drugs are broad spectrum antibodies. They, they have been proven to work several. There are so many good drugs in the market. So don't always buy these low drugs if you are trying to save money. It is better to save your beds and the rest. Okay. At the end of the day, we have 10 mortality for brawlers and 13 mortality for layers, which would have been much if we don't take the necessary measures. Okay. Sam is out. See you on my next video. If you want to learn how to manage leg problem in brother shaking, watch the next video on your screen. Bye. Happy Easter.